And I just thought this sounds really interesting. You're paired up with a scientist or scientists and you're responding in a creative way to their research without, it seemed, particular parameters. And I thought, well, that could be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I've always described it as, as rubbing academics up against artists and seeing if sparks fly. So this email came through saying that I'd be working with people who are performing research using the principles of fundamental physics to understand equally fundamental biological processes. And then I thought, wow, biophysics. I don't know anything. When the artists first meet up, they have a very brief period to talk together. That's where you get paired up. You meet your person for the first time. It's obvious why they paired us together, because he's dealing with organic mechanisms, and I'm very interested in mechanisms. Even looking at something like Hamlet and seeing if yeah. we could, no, it, what was no, lovely no. was the openness and the, the interest in each other's disciplines. I had a full lab day and heard about all their research. So he was explaining that that was the presence of a protein. I'd forgotten that he'd shown you this, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we showed you a lot. It's a really short time scale, really. The first lab visit, I was just writing <laughs> reams of information. There's a bewildering first day, particularly those practitioners who've worked with a school. There may be six or seven academics all desperately excited about explaining their work to them. So. I think it was interesting from my perspective yeah. seeing the work and hearing about the research. It's really inspiring to go into a space that is completely unfamiliar. Yeah, yeah. Everything in the lab is so intriguing and you could create 10 different pieces of artwork just based on one visit to a lab. What we liked about it, it's a chance to do outreach in a sort of new and interesting way. I knew that there's this whole massive field of research, a lot of it inspired by this scientist called William Asbury. I looked up um, the Asbury journals yeah. in the Ulita archive. There's no set brief, no specific outcomes from this. It all comes from the dialogue at the time, what you see and experience. I'm starting to see how different people's research areas all come together as a whole. Yeah. You know, there was the lipid layer. With the lipids around the outside, this brighter outside layer is the oil layer. I just had to find different ways of working so that when I could come back in, I could visually articulate my ideas to um, the biophysics team. We don't ask for a conclusion from this process. You know, it's, it's a process without specified outcomes. But of course, these people, you know, the academics and the artists, they, they want to make something. That the, 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 the gut instinct is to is to kind of create something. This was a digitally printed fabric that was just a strip of colour on a silk viscose. Okay. A chemical effect was applied and it's just burnt away the entire background. You know, these are starting to look like some of the molecules that we that we study, which were produced by hand knitting. Yeah, these are hand knitted. What we'll be able to do is to explain how it works to people by kind of you know, holding it in your hand, the cell is being stimulated, the molecule does this. You actually think outside of the box, you think how you can interpret a science into a more simple way, trying something different, except, you know, your routine life. For example, me being in the lab, I will definitely go back and do, do more of this. Talking to an artist was really, really interesting, really helpful, and gave me ideas for not only my own research, but how I would like to kind of communicate it to others. He talked about getting contacts from museums to do some kind of art science collaboration work. It's an opportunity to work with someone who's in a completely different field to you, but working together and finding that way of truly collaborating. It's the roots for other things to develop. I sort of sense we'll keep talking. <laughs>